Everybody that leaves seems to be endorsing me. You know, people are leaving now and they're all endorsing me. I don't know about Mike Pence. He should endorse me. He should endorse me. You know why? Because, because I had a great successful presidency and he was the vice president. He should endorse me. Uh, I chose him, made him vice president, but people, people in politics can be very disloyal. I've never. <laughs> oh God, Francesca, please. Oh, he shouldn't endorse me, but they can be disloyal. Hang Mike Pence. I know, right? You'll be hit to the words right about Mike Pence will be a fool. But <laughs> he would be an absolute fool. And he fool. will because he is a fool. He is such a fool. Oh my God, I cannot with Trump. I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> Listen, the P I gotta correct something that the former vice president said is that he decided to get out of the race. Sisters and brothers and family and friends, he <laughs> did not decide to get out of the race. The GOP voters said, brother, you got to go. Hit the road, Jack, and don't come back no more, no more, no more, no more. I mean, listening to the man, and I know this is not his fault because everybody has their strengths. I don't know what the vice president's strengths are, I must confess. However, what I do know is that connecting with the people is not one of his strengths. And, and every time the man talks, it's like watching paint dry. I'm gonna tell you something, I would much rather watch paint dry than to hear Vice President Mike Pence. So he didn't make a decision. The decision was taken from him. He was not gaining traction. There was nowhere for the man to go other than to say, I am suspending my candidacy. Yeah. And I think he will endorse Trump eventually because that's who he is. And actually, Trump has called him what I agree with, uh, some names that I agree with. Trump has called him weak. Delusional, a wimp, little, and gone to the dark side. Uh, and uh, now the pens has Trump dropped out, though. Trump is like, and I want weak, little, dark sided minions on my team. Um, Pence has repeatedly labeled himself a MAGA Republican, yeah, and defended Trump's actions as reckless on January 6th, but not criminal. Even though he admitted that Trump's endangered my family that day and refused to rule out voting for Trump in 2024. So while it may seem crazy, a Pence endorsement is not entirely out of the picture. I'm reminded of something Anna first said, I think on TYT, which is for a party of so-called alpha males, Donald Trump has truly made every man, every candidate, every person in the GOP a beta cuck. Like for lack of a better term, like so beta. You call my wife ugly, uh, Ted Cruz, and then he phone banks for you. You call my dad the Zodiac killer, and then I'll phone bank for you. You try to have me hanged on January 6th, and then you threaten my family, and my entire staff has to flee, and I'm probably going to re endorse you. I mean, what a pack of betas! What a pack of weak little men! Ridiculous. Um, one person, though, who actually has, still has money is Nikki Haley. Leave it to the woman, she's budgeting well. Um, former governor of South Carolina, um, Haley is widely presumed to be the main beneficiary of Pence's exit. In a speech on Saturday, the former US ambassador to the UN praised Pence as a good man of faith who had, quote, fought for America as he's fought for Israel. Cool. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.